In his autobiography, An American Slave, Frederick Douglass recounts the horrors of bondage that drove him to risk his life to escape. Under constant threat of capture, thousands mirrored Douglass in attempting to find freedom in the North, moving by foot through hundreds of miles of swamps and woods and treacherous backcountry trails. Slave owners viewed escapees as valuable financial assets, so search parties were de deployed to find them and all the other runaways. A property issue in the political arena, division over fugitive slaves became the basis for disputes that ballooned into the Civil War. The Underground Railroad was at first simply a metaphor used by anti-slavery advocates in the mid-1800s to describe aggressive efforts to aid escaped slaves. But the term eventually came to label a network of landmarks, routes, and safe houses cloaked in secrecy designed to help those travelers find refuge in free territory. The effort included many people committed to the cause of abolition, but perhaps few were more important than Levi Cawthon, who, on, was, who was born on this day in 1798. For his contributions to the system, Cawthon earned the moniker President of the Underground Railroad. His property in Wayne County, Indiana, was a safe haven for thousands of men and women en route to the Canadian border. The Coffin House was purchased by the state of Indiana in 1967 and later registered as a national landmark. Once free, a few brave souls ventured back into slave states to guide men and women to freedom. Going back nearly tw 20 times was Harriet Tubman, best known as the conductor of the railroad. While estimations vary, John Hope Franklin, author of Rebels on the Plantation, projects that up to 2,000 enslaved people a year made it to the north via the railroad. A mere trickle when compared to the millions enslaved across the country, but it was impactful nonetheless. So today we celebrate the legacy of Levi Coffin and the Underground Railroad. And that is For the Culture. Thank you for watching Prime, and good night.